Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about Valentine's Day. So I recreated this Think Pink Valentine's Glam kind of look. This is actually very, very, very similar to the look that I did on my first ever YouTube video, the Pink Smoky Eye, although this is a lot better. And it's a lot more pink because again, it's for Valentine's Day and everything. I actually really love this look, not just for Valentine's Day, but it's actually one of my go-to glams. Aside from the gold and red lip kind of look, I love this one. But anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling and get into the video. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do a really easy to recreate look. It's very simple. I'm basically just gonna use two shades. So yeah, I'm just gonna go straight in. I'm gonna be using this Makeup Geek single shadow in the shade Bitten. It's just a deep burgundy. I'm just using my M433 and I'm tapping off all the excess since this shade is really, really pigmented. And I'm gonna pop that into the crease. You can definitely go in with a different shade first. You can use a lighter pink, but this just makes it easier and faster. Just be careful not to put on too much pigment. Okay, so now that we got bitten on the crease, I'm going to be going into a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. It's actually still in its box because this one's a new one. This one is in Sequin. I've used this before. I've actually used this for my first video. And this is honestly like my go-to glam look. It's not just for Valentine's Day. I really love pinks on the eyes, especially this shade Sequin right here. It's a really pretty rose gold, deep rose gold with lots of little glitters. So yeah, I'm just taking some on my finger and I'm just going to pop that onto the lid. And I'm just blending out the edges so that everything is seamless. Okay, so I'm going to leave the eyes alone for now and I'm going to start off with the face. I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer to prime my face. Just taking one pump. One pump with this primer is actually quite a lot, so you don't need more than one pump. Okay, so before I put on any foundation and all that, I'm going to first use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the green color corrector shade. Just because I have a lot of redness, I always have a lot of redness, but... Yeah, I just want it for some extra coverage and color correcting. Then on top of that, I'm going to go in with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 20. Just going to apply that over the spots where we put the green. So now I'm going to go in with my foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is for normal to oily skin. Just took that on the back of my hand. Conceal and highlight. Again, I'm going to be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Light 20. Okay, so now to set everything in place, I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is in the shade 10 Fair Light. Okay. 
Okay, so before I continue on with the face, I'm going to go back into that shade Bitten that we used all over the crease. And I'm taking that on a small, more detailed brush. And I'm just going to run that underneath the lash line. Now I'm going to go back to using my M433 and I'm just going to smoke out all that pink that we put underneath the lash line. Okay, so now that we have all the eyeshadow done, I'm going to go into my NYC liquid liner. This one has specks of glitter in it, and usually I don't like that, but for this look, since we have a lot of shimmer and glitter going on in the eyes, I want to try that out with this look. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for that to dry, but I'm going to be using my Chanel Waterproof Eyeliner. This is just a black eyeliner. I'm going to put that on the waterline. Now I'm just going to put on some mascara. This is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. I'm going to put that both on the top lashes and the bottom lashes to prep for falsies. Okay, so I just applied my falsies and now I'm going to go back into the face. I'm going to be going into my bronzer. I'm using Hula by Benefit and I'm going to take that with my Morphe R2 bronzer brush. Now I'm going to go into my blush and I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit in Radiant. I'm going to use this shade right here. This one is called Terrace. I'm also going to do some nose contouring. I'm just using the same Hula bronzer and just taking a more nose contour appropriate brush. Since this bronzer is a little bit more on the warm side, I'm not taking too much of it. Just so that it doesn't look too orange. Just making sure to blend that out. I just took a denser brush, but pretty much the same one as we used for the nose contour. Okay, so aside from the blush that we already put on, I do want to put a blush topper just to have some more fun. And since it's Valentine's Day and all, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Break. This one is in the shade Rose, so this is what it looks like. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that onto the cheeks, just to give more of a rosy glow the blush and now I'm gonna go into my highlighter and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Starburst highlighter this came in the sugar glow kit but again my sugar glow kit packaging was destroyed by me but anyways before I highlight my face with it I'm just gonna take a flat shader brush and I'm gonna use it to highlight my inner corners and my brow bone Now I'm just going to use my Morphe Y13 fan brush. I'm just going to pop that onto my cupid's bow. My nose. Right here. My forehead also. Just to give it more of a glow. My chin. And of course on the cheekbones. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my lipstick. I'm going to be using Colourpop's Alexis Ren collaboration. This was in this one is in the shade Bare Necessities. And then finally, I'm going to set everything in place. I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix setting spray. that's it for this Think Pink Valentine's Glam Makeup tutorial. I really wanted to focus on all pink tones and I'm just, I'm just a really, really big lover of pink makeup. 
I don't wear it a lot on my channel, but in real life, this is like my go-to look. It's not just my Valentine's glam kind of look. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Happy Valentine's Day! Bye guys!